Hey guys, Dr. Dahlia here. Hey. All right, many of you medical students have to learn the Cox postulates. Now, um, I know um, it could be pronounced a variety of different way, cooks, coaches. I have learned them Cox postulates. So however way you wanna pronounce it is absolutely fine with me. And in a very, very quick video, I'm going to show you how I learned them in medical school, which was a few years ago, okay? Okay, not too many years ago, be nice. Okay, so first, just to quickly review what the postulates are, all right, when we're trying to identify a causative agent in an infectious disease, the pathogen must be present in all cases of the disease. The pathogen can be isolated from the disease host and grown in pure culture. The cultured pathogen must cause disease if inoculated into a healthy host, and then the pathogen must be re-isolated from the new sickened host and be the same as the original pathogen that affected in the first place. So I like to draw things out, and this is how I remembered Cox postulates, okay? So basically, it must be present. So here's the present, right? So the pathogen has to be present. This is the guy that's sick, and I guess the pathogen is all in him, and he's just, he's just not feeling good, okay? But to remember the four, this is how I remember. So one, it has to be present. Two, it has to be able to be grown in a Petri dish or grown in culture. Three, the culture pathogen must cause disease in a new healthy host. So this is the new host. She's all happy that she's getting a present and all of a sudden she's like, oh, I got this present, I'm upset. Why? Because she's sick, okay? And then four, the pathogen must be re-isolated and when grown in culture be identical to this one. So I have a little star on the Petri dish. And that's how I remember Cox postulates. <laughs>